to my channel. For episode 3 we're going to do something totally different what we've done from the previous episodes. For this episode we're going to do a painting. An acrylics and oils painting. Um, I prefer to work on wooden boards than an actual canvas. The reason being that I like to go uh, a lot into detail and uh, canvas obviously has texture although there are so many different kind of canvases there are also ones which have really fine texture um, still I prefer to work on wooden, wooden boards first of all they are much cheaper and um, for the detail that I like to go into um, I prefer what recently I, I've been using mostly wooden boards um, for the, the painting, as I said, we're going to use acrylics and oils. Now, I prefer as a medium or as a, as a, uh, as a brand mostly, I like to, to, to work with Winsor & Newton. But, and there are so many different kinds of oils that you can use. Winsor & Newton is, um, how do I say, mid-range. It's not cheap but it's not expensive also um, it is very liquidy as a as a brand obviously there are as i said there are so many different kinds of oils and, and also acrylics but let me focus more on oils for now um, like for example um, Windsor and Newton has two different kinds of uh, oils oil uh, families oil, oil color families you can say there is the Winton, which is much more for students, and uh, I suggest that you start with them because they are they are very good, and they are cheaper than uh, than the other ones. Then the other ones are the the art the artists range. Um, it, right now I'm using the artists range, although as I said, Winton are they are cheaper than the artists because the artists they are not cheap range. Um, Cost-wise, I'm saying obviously not, not the material because as material goes, they are both good. But obviously, the artist has that bit of a, a push, a, a, a more liquidy and more um, um, how do I say? When you're working with it, it's much more smoother. And even to, to work with it, it's, uh, it's much more like um, it flows more. The artist strange than the wind tip. But still, as I'm saying, if you're going to start practicing, especially with oils, I recommend starting with winter. They are still good, and uh, and some uh, and some colors I I use winter as well. So I mix winter and, and artists. As I said, uh, winter they are. So let me show you. These are the artists range that I use. As I said, there are other professional brands which are very much more expensive, like Michael Harding, for example, um, which are very good, but obviously you pay for what you get as well. Eh? Um, uh, I also use Old Holland, which is one of the best that you can use, which are a higher grade than Windsor & Newton. Also, they are not cheap, but um, uh, some colors I prefer to use Old Holland than with so let me start by showing you the uh, the walkthrough for my paintings. Um, most of the time, first I start with, with uh, doing some just so on some parts of my paintings to give it that more that a little bit of texture where I need it. And then uh, first I start with acrylics. Acrylics I use also with and Newton. Um, I use acrylics for two reasons. First of all, they dry up very quickly. So for base, for base layers, I use that one, the acrylics, as a medium to, to hurry things up. And secondly, also I get some textures with it, with oils. I don't manage, like for example, if I need to splitter or make um, uh, some uh, watery feel on uh, and, and textures of the. On my painting with acrylics, I, I, I achieve them more than on, with oils. Um, with time and with practice, you'll start also um, uh, 
experimenting more with textures and how you get some textures with Aperix and Doris. Um, so yes, I start with Aperix first and then when everything has dried up in Aperix, I start with oils. So that, that is my, my procedure, how to, how to go around with, uh, with oil paintings. So once again, thanks again for stopping by my channel. I hope you enjoyed my walkthrough and see you on other episodes. Thank you.